what I'd love to see, and I've suggested this in the past, yeah. well, it's kind of my own kind of weird idea. You dig a big tunnel somehow. Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> dig, sorry. Make it a temperature controlled wine cave. Okay. And every year, all every year, every one, BC winery puts in five cases of all their top wines. It's donated. Yeah. And then every couple of years, do, do a BC wine roadshow. How do BC wines age? Like uh, Penfold does uh, their, war their rewards of patience every yeah. five years. And they invite winemakers and wine critics and masters of wine to taste the Penfold's wines going back to the 50s. And they'll taste grains from the 60s. How do these wines evolve? And they publish these books yeah. called uh, yeah. The Rewards of Patience. And uh, I've got them going back. I think that my last one's 2004. I should ask, see if I can get a couple more. Anyway, and uh, to see how the wines age. I remember Sue Hodder coming up here and we tasted the Wins Kunawara Shiraz from every, not every vintage, but a 50 year retrospective starting in 1955 all the way up and I think the tasting was like eight or nine years ago. And the wines are incredible. They're fabulous, fabulous wines. We need to do something like that across, across Canada, across the United States, in the UK. Well, it, it turns into a huge event and it, it gives you credibility because when you're saying like here, mm -hmm. we're tasting these, you know, we're doing these vertical tastings over this period of top wine. Exactly, exactly. And so that, that's, what, that's what builds the foundation of, uh, of, uh, uh, of a country, of a region, of a producer. Uh, you have to look not just, you know, wines in supermarkets, uh, but internationally.